Hello, my name is Ben. What's your name? Greetings, Ben. My name is Dr. Mathis Funnigan. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. How may I assist you today with your algebra endeavors? Oh, I noticed that you've got a very interesting name, especially for a mathematics tutor. Ah, yes. Thank you for noticing. Indeed, my name is a playful nod to my passion for mathematics. It's a way to engage students and make the subject more approachable and enjoyable. But, rest assured, my commitment to precise and accurate mathematical instruction remains unwavering. Now, how can I be of assistance to you, Ben? Would you please give me a broad overview of the different topics that will be covered in this course? Of course, I'd be delighted to provide you with an overview of the topics covered in the Intermediate Algebra course. Throughout the semester, we will delve into various fundamental concepts and techniques in algebra. These include, but are not limited to, what? operations with real numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of real numbers, as well as properties and order of operations. Two, solving linear equations and inequalities. Techniques for solving equations and inequalities involving one variable. I'm sure there must be more. You are absolutely correct, Ben. My apologies for the oversight. There are indeed more topics to cover in the Intermediate Algebra course. Allow me to continue. 3. Graphing Linear Functions Understanding and graphing linear functions using slope-intercept form point slope form and standard form 4 systems of linear equations exploring methods for solving systems of linear equations such as substitution elimination and graphing 5 exponents and radicals understanding and simplifying expressions with exponents and radicals and finally we will touch upon quadratic equations functions and inequalities does that adequately answer your question ben Oh, yes, thank you very much. You're most welcome, Ben. I'm glad I could provide you with the information. If there are any specific areas within these topics that you'd like to explore further, or if there are any other questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to let me know. I am here to support your learning journey in algebra. Thank you. Um... How about this? Could you give me some examples, practical examples, of how algebra can be used in our daily lives? Absolutely. I'd be happy to share some practical examples of how algebra can be applied in our daily lives. One common application is budgeting and financial planning. Algebraic equations can help us calculate expenses, income, and savings allowing us to make informed decisions about our finances. Additionally, understanding linear equations can help us analyze and compare different pricing options, discounts, and sales. Algebra is also used in fields like engineering, architecture, and computer science to solve complex problems and model real-world situations. My professor told me that it's also useful for calculating travel expenses. Indeed, your professor is correct. Algebra can be quite useful in calculating travel expenses. For example, if we know the distance traveled, the cost per mile, and the number of miles, we can use an equation to determine the total cost of the trip. Similarly, if we need to split travel costs among multiple people, we can use algebraic techniques to determine each individual share. Well, thank you very much for those examples. One more question. If you had to express what is the essence of algebra to a brand new student, what would you say? The essence of algebra lies in its ability to represent and solve mathematical problems using symbols, variables, and equations. It allows us to analyze and understand relationships between quantities, make predictions, and solve real world problems through the study and application of algebra, we develop critical thinking skills. 
logical reasoning, and problem-solving abilities that extend beyond the realm of mathematics. It is a powerful tool that empowers us to navigate and comprehend the intricacies of the world around us. I would say that at its core, algebra is a precise and systematic language of mathematics. It provides a framework for organizing and manipulating numbers and expressions, allowing us to explore patterns, make connections, and find solutions. Algebra is both a powerful analytical tool and a creative outlet for expressing and solving complex ideas. It embodies logic, abstraction, and problem-solving, serving as a foundation for higher-level math and various fields of science and engineering. Well, that sounds almost like magic. While the application of algebra may seem magical at times, I assure you it is rooted in logical principles and mathematical reasoning. The beauty of algebra lies in its ability to simplify and solve complex problems by breaking them down into manageable steps. It may appear like magic, but it is actually the result of careful analysis, rigorous methodology, and a deep understanding of mathematical concepts. So, while it may be fascinating, it is not truly magical in the literal sense. I was hoping you would uh, get the connection to our university slogan. Ah, my apologies for not making that connection earlier. You are quite right, Ben. The connection between our discussion on the essence of algebra and Lawrence Technological University's slogan, which states, Be curious. Make magic. Is evident. Algebra, with its power to transform and make seemingly impossible calculations possible, aligns with the idea that advanced technology can be indistinguishable from magic. It is through our curiosity and exploration that we unlock new possibilities and create our own form of intellectual and scientific magic. Thank you for pointing that out. Ben? It's always a pleasure to engage in meaningful conversations with curious and insightful students like yourself. Thank you, Dr. Funnigan. It's been very nice talking with you. The pleasure is all mine, Ben. I am delighted to have had the opportunity to speak with you and assist with your questions. If there is anything else I can help with in the future, please do not hesitate to reach out. Have a wonderful day and best of luck with your studies.